Columbia Pictures rejected this film, doubting its commercial appeal. And this made Steven Spielberg so angry after he had done Close Encounters of the Third Kind for them, he vowed to never work with the studio again. A vow that he has yet to go back on even after Columbia was acquired by Sony. In fact, Back to the Future was having a hard time getting made and Columbia said they would finance it, but Spielberg rejected the offer on this principle and E.T. It ended up at Universal who financed it for $10.5 million and when it came out in theaters, it became the highest grossing film of all time and it held that title for 11 years, but most importantly, it was the beginning of a relationship between Spielberg and the studio becoming his de facto home base. And this film did almost $800 million worldwide and over $400 million domestically, which today, adjusted for inflation, is about $1.3 billion.